We got a rival though. I have no clue what to call this man. Let's call him. Oh, let's call him Laber. Le yeah, the the opposite of rival. Well, I'm so good at coming up with nicknames. That kind of sounds like a French name. Le Bear. Le Bear. Wow, that dude. That is that is emotional. That is so moving, man. Le Bear is your new rival. And it's literally just a rival backwards. That's all it is, but it sounds like a French name or something. Yep, your or your grandson is Le Bear. What is up everyone, TerraQuake here, and welcome to the next series, Let's Play series, Nuzlocke series, whatever the heck you want to freaking call it, here on the channel, and as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail and whatnot, we are doing a Pokemon Fire Red randomized chain monologue. Now, you guys might be wondering, what the heck is a chain monologue? Well, I got the rules pulled up right here, and, and it is actually really simple. So, basically, uh, I'll go over the rules really quickly, but first of all, hope you guys are all having a great day. And hope you guys, you know, don't forget to leave a like and start a new series, why the heck not? And if you're new here, consider subscribing if you if you like what you see. I don't freaking know, man. I'm not good at doing intros and whatnot, so I'm just getting straight into the rules. I haven't really planned this out at all. I'm sort of just, you know... Yeeting it if, if that's if that's the same whatever here we go But yeah, basically so the randomized part all oh, trainer wild Pokemon starters gym leaders those Pokemon are all randomized all static encounters are randomized as well So, you know, you should know the randomized part by now if you've been around on the channel I've done now three series already. This is my fourth one where I have done a randomized Whatever lock because I've done multiple different versions, but um the Nuzlocke portion You know, you can only catch the first Pokemon in each area if a Pokemon dies, it's considered dead. You have to put it in the death box. You gotta nickname all your Pokemon. All the good stuff. Now, here's the juicy stuff, the meaty stuff, the the inside center of the patty. You know what I'm saying? Um, so basically, the chain monologue. It's I'll go over the monologue part first. So a monologue means you can only use one typing that, or hence the mono in monologue. Um, you can only use one typing. But the chain part means you can also catch a dual typing. So let's say I start out with a fire type as my starter. And then I go out to route one and I catch a fire flying type. Then I can also add flying types to my team. So basically, you know, you can only catch Pokemon of a type that you have. And how it's going to work with the encounters on each route is when I, which to be honest, for the early game, I'm probably going to have to do a couple of like jump cuts to find uh, the first encounter that I can catch because that's how encounters are going to work. So basically, if I have a fire type and I go into route one, then the first Pokemon that is a fire type, that is my encounter. But of course, the chain part means, like I said, you can catch dual typings, which will add to your arsenal and make everything, you know, make your whole team more diverse and get more typings and everything. So yeah, that's where the whole chain part comes from. I'll leave a um, or I'll leave a link to the rules probably I think, but they'll also just be sitting there in the description. So check them out. They can uh, go ahead and explain it a lot better than I can. That's for sure. I'm just like so caught up with this man because I've been to be honest. I'm not even lying. I don't even have the thumbnail made or the intro made for this series at the time I'm recording this. I'm hoping I can get this video up by Monday. But we'll freaking see. I just want to get this started though. I'm pretty excited. It is a new type of Nuzlocke form that I have never done. And we're playing through Pokemon Fire Red. Uh, I know I've done all my challenges with Fire Red. It's, I know it seems like I hate Leaf Green for some reason. Even though they're the exact same. But I don't. I promise I don't. <laughs> but okay. Really, we do not need controls. We do not need controls. No, I know what I'm doing here. But I'll go ahead and start the timer. Oh, by the way, speaking of the timer. I'm going to be keeping the same 25 minute timer. Because... You know, that's just how it is. That's how it is. We got a boy, Professor Oak, the original professor out here on the screen. But yeah, again, I'm just so excited to start this new series, man. It is freaking hype. And if we do well enough and beat the champions, it's going to be my fourth completed Nuzlocke series on the channel, which is very exciting. But hey, maybe we just freaking lose. It's actually going to be kind of challenging, I feel like, especially the early game, since you can only have, you know, one, maybe two, three, if you're lucky, typing, so it's pretty crazy. I'm going go with the boy character because I'm just a boy, you know. I don't want to go with the girl, and like always, going to call myself TQ because I'm TQ, 
because I can't fit Terraquake. You know, I'm I'm waiting for the day. Actually, to be honest, can you fit Terraquake in like? I feel like in the Gen Seven games they made more character spaces. Uh, I don't know. Someone correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, but maybe like Gen Seven and Eight they made um, more uh, spaces for your characters. Uh, or more character spaces, so maybe in those games I could type in Terraquake. I don't freaking know. We got a rival, though. I have no clue what to call this man. Let's call him... Hmm. Oh, let's call him LeBurr. Le yeah, the, the opposite of rival. Well, I'm so good at coming up with nicknames. That kind of sounds like a French name. LeBurr. LeBurr. Wow, that dude. That is that is emotional. That is so moving, man. Le Bear is your new rival. And it's literally just a rival backwards. That's all it is, but it sounds like a French name or something. Yep, your or your grandson is Le Bear. Oh man, that is that is nice. Or I guess I could pronounce it like Lever? Le Bear? I don't freaking know, man. I kinda like Le Bear. Oh, that's kinda funny, man. I'm glad I'm glad that that's how it turned out. Cause literally I know what I was nicknaming him. But first, let's get this potion. I don't think this is randomized, but... Oh, yeah, speaking of uh, randomized, I completely forgot to mention that. All, like, field items are randomized. TMs as well. Um, to be honest, I feel like most people now know, like, what, what a randomizer is all about. Let me go and set this text for you to fast. Oh, wait, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, we got some nice backgrounds. Ooh, oh, there's, like, the OG one. Um, so how many are there? Ten. You know what? I'm kind of digging the blue one. Actually, no, 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 no. Green's my favorite color. Let's go green. I was digging the blue one at first. I was like, heck no. Give me that green. Give me that green one. But yeah, I'm just excited to, or, let's see, I can't even talk. I'm so excited I can't even talk, man. I'm not even that tired. Like, come on, Terraquake. But uh, yeah, I'm so excited to see my starters because I feel like that's probably one of the most exciting parts of any sort of randomizer. And I just realized now from like walking out of my house that we don't get the running shoes until after the first gym. Yay, this is going to be awesome. Why do they make it so late until you get your freaking running shoes? Like m my mom just takes forever to deliver them. Actually, isn't my mom? Because I know like a random scientist gives it to you, but oh well. Okay, here we go. We're about to see our starters. We are about to see our starters. But, um, by the way, I know I did not explain it well, the rules about, like, the chain monologue parts. So, again, I told you guys, go check out the description. They can explain it. The rules down there can explain it a lot better than I did. But I have a feeling it will make a ton of more sense uh, as we go on. First up is a Quagsire! Yo, it's Derp! It's Derp from the Pokemon Silver Randomized Wedlock. Oh, my gosh. That is sick. So, that's actually really nice. Because it's a water ground type. Okay, that's diverse. We have a Nuzleaf, a grass dark type, some good dual types. And that's a Nuzleaf Nuzzy from the Pokemon Sapphire Randomized Unlock. All of our old team members are coming back. <gasps> Ooh, another dual type. Okay, Medicham's powerful. I know this dude's attack is insane. I, uh, as much as I'm not going with Nuzleaf just because it's not like fully evolved. I don't think it's too strong and I don't think it gets the best moves to start out with. Um, as much as I want to go with Derp because it's freaking Derp. He was a legend in the Pokemon Silver Randomized Wedlock. I kind of want to go with Medicham, man. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. We got to go with Medicham. I'm going with Medicham. So this is going to be a fighting psychic type, which... To be honest, this is a really nice starter options. Oh, wait, who's he going to get? Is he going to get the Quagsire? I hope he goes th with the uh, Nuzleaf. But, first of all, nicknames. Ooh, um, mmm. Nicknames, nicknames, nicknames. Um, since this is episode one, I have no clue what we're calling this man, so I'm going to call him Paul. Heck yeah, Paul the Medicham. Let's go, Paul. I feel you, man. Is he going to go with the Nuzleaf? Yes. All right, that's going to be good then because uh, he's going to be weak to my fighting type moves. Oh, and that's right. By the way, abilities are randomized too. Forgot to mention that. But speaking of nicknames, before I jump into the first rival battle, oh, we have a randomized held item though. A Rossberry. I'll take it. Let me check out this ability. It is pick up. I'll take it, man. I'll take it. That's actually really nice. And I wonder if those items are randomized or if they're just the normal items that you get with the pickup ability. I'm not really sure. But like I was saying, what was I even going on about? Oh, shoot. I, I'm great. I lost my train of thought because I was too busy looking at the abilities. It's okay. We're going to battle the bear. We're going to battle the bear. Let's go. Let's go. Do we get a fighting type move to start? I didn't even look at my moves. Oak, I know how to fight. Get the heck out of here, man. Paul's got this. Look at Paul. Look at him, like, going with the arms and everything. He's like, I don't even know. What the heck? He, what is Paul doing? 
Paul, what you doing? Paul. Paul, your arms are kind of whack. Um, anyways, we have Bide. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We can only hit this thing with Bide? Oh, my gosh. Please attack. Oh, no. No, dude. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure Nuzleaf is part dark already. Oh, and he's... Oh. What if this thing doesn't even have a move? Are we literally stuck here? Oh my gosh. Okay, he has pound. He has pound. All right, stop using hard and just go for pound, please. Oh, I swear, this freaking AI, man. It's actually kind of smart for once. Like, what the heck? Come on, hit me. Thank you. We'll get off a tiny... To be honest, we might lose, but the Nuzlocke hasn't even started yet because the, if you don't know, the Nuzlocke doesn't start until you get Pokeballs. So if we do lose, it's fine. It's totally fine. But this is kind of looking bad, though, to be honest. Come on, get like, okay, use use a pound again. Okay, should do some pretty good damage, right? Unleashed energy. It might not kill, though. Let's see. Oh, okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. No crit. Okay, and look at that. The potion coming in clutch from the pussy. Okay, I know. Yes, yes, I, I Professor Oak, can you just shut your mouth? Yeah, look at that. 18 hit points. Let's freaking go. Okay, I... Calm, Terra Quake, Professor Oak's just an old dude. He doesn't know that I'm already a freaking Pokemon master. I'm just kidding. I'm not too good at Pokemon. I'd say I'm pretty good at, like, Gen 1 through 5 and then Gen 6 and on, where it's just like, yeah, you know, not great at those ones. <laughs> Anyways, it took down the Nuzleaf. Let's go. It took a little while. kind of sucked. And that really does stink that I realize now if we run into a dark type, we can't really hit it. Because they don't have a fighting type move yet. But hey, our boy Paul got up to level 6. Oh, I know what I was going to say earlier. Um, I was talking about nicknames. So how nicknames are going to work is just like they've always worked. If you leave a comment on any video in this series, then you have a chance to be nicknamed after a Pokemon. And I think it's just a really nice way to sort of reward you guys for commenting on a video. And does our mom heal us up? Or do we get automatically healed? Uh, We get automatically healed. Okay, but yeah, like I was saying, it's a nice way to reward you guys for like commenting. And it's a good way for me to interact with you guys. So that's why I do it, man. I did not mean to run to the sign. This is not our first encounter because we don't have balls yet. And that would be a psychic type, though, plus part water. I'd freaking take Slow King, man. I mean, that dude, that dude's a bulky ball. He's a big old tank. All right, let me get this free potion. Gosh, this is so annoying that you don't get running shoes. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, jeez. This is kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie. But you know what? We are going to persevere. We're going to persevere. But, uh... Another encounter. I just want to see what we can get on this route. Shroomish can't get that. But it just, yeah, it's just strange because, you know, um, it's so much different from, I'm just coming off the Pokemon Sapphire Randomized Unlock, and it's just so much different because the unlock, you know, at the start of the game, you couldn't have anything to do. Like, you couldn't heal in battle. You couldn't teach TMs. But now in this mode, it's just like, hey, do whatever you want as long as you catch the same typing. So like I was saying, in, especially in the early part, I don't think it'll be a problem later on once we have like a good team and we have a bunch of different typings. But I'll probably have to do jump cuts for my encounters just because I don't want to sit here for 10 minutes waiting to find a fighting or psychic type. So that's what we're doing. I don't even know why the heck I... Why did I go heal? Why did I heal? I can still like kill Pokemon, obviously, that aren't my type. Um, which we just saw. Why did I even say that? You guys obviously just saw that. Um, I should probably kill some of the wild Pokemon because... They're going to give me some good EXP. But, yeah, let's just head back down to Oak's lab. I kind of just want to get away from Oak. He's kind of boring me. He's a boring old man. He's like, um, he's literally the old man from the good old children's song. Uh, it's rain and it's pouring. The old man is freaking snoring. No, the old man is Professor Oak. He's telling us pointless information that I already know. Oh, McGainy. I've seen these. These would be so, uh, such nice encounters, but I just can't get them. Oh, man, it's kind of funny. But you know what, that's alright, because it's good EXP, man. It's great EXP, and again, we don't have balls yet, so it is totally fine if we if we die. It's totally fine. It's 100% chill. Kind of stinks for Paul. Oh, you know what, does the stink. Confusing that Meganium. The Meganium. Gaining those weights. Meganium does look like it could, you know, lift some weight. It's got those thick legs. Look at those. Even its tail is, like, short, but it's thick. Its neck is pretty thick. It's got the thick old flowers. I'm just saying, maybe Meganium, like, goes to the gym. Have you guys ever seen Meganium at the gym? Actually, to be honest, Meganium's gym is probably, like, a forest or something. I don't know, man. I wouldn't go to a real gym. It's a freaking dinosaur. 
I don't know, man. I, may, maybe you guys have seen him. Let me know. Let me know. What what gym was it too? Because then maybe I could go to and see Meganium. I don't freaking know. <laughs> All right. I'm just I'm just blabbering on about Meganium. Meganium is pretty cool though. Like I I know Chikorita. I know everyone likes Totodile and Cyndaquil, but Chikorita is pretty cool too. I've used uh, the the line before, the whole evolution line. I think it was when I was playing through Pokemon Soul Silver once. Anyways, there's good old Professor Oak. Professor Oak, old man, who's snoring while it's pouring. He gives us the Pokeballs. So the Nuzlocke Challenge has officially started, and here's LeBear. Dude, literally every time this man pops in the screen, I'll be like, Yo, what's up, LeBear? It's LeBear. <laughs> Gosh, that is so funny. I I don't know. Like, I just came up with that right on the spot, and it actually turned out pretty good. Man, I kind of feel bad, though. Can I just take this Quagsire, Professor Oak? Like, can I just... Can I take him? I feel bad. I left Dirk just sitting there on the table. Actually, technically, Lavare did, because he had, the ch he had the choice to choose Nuzleaf or Quagsire, but he chose Nuzleaf, and I'm totally fine with that. Even though I don't have a Fighting-type move yet, but I know my boy Metachamp does get one, and he's not a Stone Evolution, so... Yeah, he's not a Stone Evolution, right? No, no, no. He levels up at, like... I think Metatite evolves at 30-something. So he'll definitely learn some good moves. But we're going to be getting our encounter soon. But again, I got to wait till it's a fighting or psychic type. So if, like, the first or second encounter isn't a fighting or psychic type, then I'll probably do a quick cut. Yep, it's the poison type. Sup, Nidoran, female. Sit down, boy. But yeah, basically, the at the start of the game, like, the best case scenario is even if the mod isn't that great, I'm hoping it's just a good dual typing so that, you know, we can start to diverse our team and not be... Because right now, we're weak to, what, ghosts and flying and all that good stuff. So, it's pretty key at the start to sort of diversify the team. You know, it's not key running into freaking Tauroses, but you know what? I'll just see. I'm probably going to do a quick cut right here because, again, it seems like it's going to take a while. I would be so down to find that, uh, whatchamacallit, sloking again, though. But, yeah, like I said, I'm going to do a quick cut because you guys don't want to watch me sit here five minutes doing nothing. I'm also going to pause the timer as well. So, I will be right back. I almost clapped too early on that one. Now, I'm going to be right back. Oh. Uh, well, uh, it's an ice type. That That's for sure. It's, uh, it's a jinx. You know, it's a... It's it's a Jinx, that's, yep. It's a good old Jinx. One of the ugliest Pokemon there is out there. Oh, it's got Lick, too. Okay, we better be a little careful. You know what? It might not be too bad, though. I mean, it's part Ice. I'm not really sure what the heck it gets. But now we can catch Ice types if we catch this thing. Oh, that, okay, let's um, let's stay in the ball before you kill me. That, that'd be great. Yeah, let's, hey, hey, Jinx. Can, can we stay in the ball, please? Like, I might have to run. Oh, wow. Oh, we got an Ornberry from Pickup. That seems like an item you'd usually get from Pickup in a non-randomized game. So maybe the Pickup items don't get randomized. But will Jinx stay in the ball? No, it will not. And now it's what? What does Lovely Kiss do? Put, okay. Because I know there's two different kissing moves. There's Lovely Kiss. Actually, no, there's more than that. Because I just thought of Draining Kiss is like the fairy type move. And then you got Lovely Kiss is the one that puts you to sleep. And then I think... Sweet Kiss is the one that confuses you or something. Here we go, Jinx. Okay. Um, could you please just stay in the ball, man? I mean, I'd love to get more ice types. That'd be pretty lit. Um, that's kind of ironic because, like, lit usually means fire and fire kills ice. I don't freaking know. We only got two balls left. This boy better stay in the ball or I just stuck. Oh, Jinx. Jinx. You're kind of killing me out here, Jinx. You kind of, kind of kill me. Also, I did level up, uh, in between that cut, because I just beat all the Pokemon that I ran into. But last ball, please stay in the ball. Well, uh, we just wasted our first five balls. Screw you, Jinx. I'm getting the heck out of here. Thanks a lot, you know. Could have had... Yeah, I'm not too mad about that, though. I'm, let's be honest. Jinx isn't the best Pokemon out there. Again, it would have been nice to have, uh, access to ice types. But I guess Jinx just didn't want us to. No, that's fine. That's fine. We're still very weak to ice and ghosts and all that good stuff, so that's great. Actually, that would have been nice, because having ice types, man, I feel like, dude, I won't be surprised if I start losing, like, early in this game. Um, if I do lose in the first couple of episodes, like, I won't, you know, restart the series, or, sorry, not restart, I won't start a brand new series. I'll restart, because I can't just leave you guys with, like, five episodes where I just die over and over again. Alright, so let's get, so let's get nine, nine Pokeballs. And I'll get a couple of potions. Yeah, five will be good. And we don't even have enough money left. Okay, 
All right, it's fine. It's fine. We got two more. No, we have three more encounters before the first gym. I forgot about Viridian Forest for a second. Also, I know there's an item at the tree, though. I tell you what, this tree, I feel like it always gives some good items when the game is randomized. I don't know what it is. I just got a feeling. I feel like it does. And you know what? It's going to be a freaking Master Ball. Ah, no, it's just a Zinc. Actually, oh, you know what? That's good money. Oh, we about to be rich. Get that money, money. We about to be rich. Let me get this encounter first. I'm not going to go fight the rival yet because that is too scary, too spooky. It's too spooky. Uh, I don't really know why I'm talking about spooky stuff because Halloween's like long gone. Well, not long gone. It's about a little over a month gone. Polyworld can no wait. Oh, no. It's, it's not part fighting yet. <sighs> it's not part fighting. Right? I really... No, no. Only Polyrath is part fighting, I'm pretty sure. All right, let's see what this encounter is. Maybe it's a fighting or psychic dish. Just another poly world. All right, uh, another quick cut, boys. And I'm back. And we have this Sloki who just migrated from Route 1 all the way over to Route whatever this is. Let's freaking go. All right, it might take a while to catch. But I think the good thing is we can get it down to like... Yeah, we should be able to get this down to like low yellow health at the least. Compared to Jinx who was like almost in the green health. So... I feel like we can catch this thing, and this will be nice. Adding a water type to the team. Just don't crit. Paul, my boy Paul, don't crit. It will be A-OK. -okay. Just, just don't crit, man. It's gonna be, it's gonna be all fine. Also, I realized that, like, when I've done those uh, cuts, like, the first three have just been freaking weak. Like, all the claps, I went like that. Like, they weren't even good. So, uh, I heard we got a nice clap. Let's freaking go. We got to catch this. I'm feeling it. We got, what, eight Pokeballs? I can't remember how many I bought. It's all good, though. We better catch this. Nine. We got nine. That's right. I got nine. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Soaking, please. I I love a water type. Oh, my gosh. What's with all the Pokemon? But made us leak, man. And, you know, water is actually a really common typing. So, th oh, this would be so freaking good. This would be so good. Come on, Slowkey. Come on. Come on. Ah, dude, he's not shaking too much. I feel like this thing does have a low catch rate for some reason. Definitely lower than Jinx. I can't really... No, one more confusion is going to kill it, dude. I I need an encounter soon because, again, we're just so vulnerable to, like, flying types and all this stuff. No! So good. So good. Maybe I got to, maybe got to, like, be like his cry where he's just like, So king. So king. Get in the freaking ball. So king. All right, he did not like that. Um, He didn't like me in, in, uh, imitating him. So... You know, it makes sense, you know. If someone's imitating you, it, it can be kind of annoying, depending on who it is and what they're doing. Oh! Oh! Yes! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! We got our first team member that's not our starter, the first actual catch of the game. It's a Slow King. I'm really happy about this. This is a Pokemon. Again, water is a very common typing, which really opens up, like, a ton of other, you know, because there's a lot of dual type water types in this game. I just said types a ton of times. All right, what should we name this thing? He's like, he's like the king. He, he's a big old king. So we're going to call him. going to call him. Call him king. I don't freaking know. Oh, geez. King Gerald. Oh, no. Gerald spells the G, I hope. I don't even know how to spell Gerald. Yo, shout out to any Geralds out there. But you're getting... I, I don't think Gerald is spelled with the J. At least usually it isn't. All the Geralds I've seen are spelled with the J. So we got Gerald the Slow King. Oh, that kind of rhymes. Like, we got so Gerald the Slow King. I mean, kind of. Wait, no, it doesn't. Gerald. Wait, that does not rhyme at all. I'm a freaking idiot, man. <laughs> all right, let me go and heal this man up. We got just over five minutes left. So, I mean, I don't want to do any grinding. I feel like that kind of suck. I'll do some grinding off camera. Uh, I'll probably start, like, switch training Slow King, but first, first, we're gonna go get that other encounter, and we're also gonna sell this, uh, Zinc, which will be pretty, uh, awesome schmousham, because you get, like, what, almost $5,000, I think? It's 4000 something, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty, pretty sure. Oh, and also, I randomized the catching tutorial, so that's coming up, and, uh, we're gonna see what the old drunk dude, uh, is trying to catch, because if you don't know, technically, the man's actually drunk, in the Japanese version... If you translate it, like, right from the Japanese version, it is drunk, like, he's drunk, but they changed it, like, in the English version to make it more kid-friendly, and he's actually just, hasn't had his coffee yet, yeah, whatever he says, I'm going the wrong freaking way, hey, what's up, old man, yeah, yeah, I'm sure you've had your coffee now, haven't ya, yeah, for sure, alright, let's go, I wanna see this, is it optional, oh, no, it's not, okay, I think in red and blue it's optional, 
He's gonna be trying to catch a Rhyhorn. And wait, does he even have a Pokemon? Does he have a Pokemon? No, he doesn't. He just. What would the old man do? I don't know. He's gonna freaking get rammed by the Rhyhorn. That's for sure. Better, wa better watch out. Better watch out. Better not pout. Better not cry. Cause Santa Claus is coming. Mm -hmm. Christmas is right around the corner. Not gonna lie. It's kind of crazy though because like this series is gonna be happening when Christmas is happening. Christmas is probably one of the best times of the year, man. Anyways. Golf clap it up for this man. Let's get some golf claps in the chat in the comment section because I'm actually am premiering this. So let me know if you're in the premiere right now. Get some premiere hype. And you got the Teachy TV. Pfft, think I need a Teachy TV. Oh my gosh. But yeah, golf clap it up for him. He caught a right horn first ball. Definitely not uh, scripted or anything. You know, he definitely caught that legitimately. Just got really lucky. Let's get the next encounter so we can have a fighting psychic or water type. And we have a fighting grass. Okay. Oh, you know what, though? I'm gonna one-shot this thing. Can Slow King... What do you have? Nope! I really hope this thing doesn't have, like... Oh, jeez. What does this thing have? What does this thing have? Absorb! How much... Oh, we're kind of bulky. This shouldn't kill, right? We're kind of bulky. Oh, yeah. We got that. All right. Okay. All right. What do you have? You have Tackle. That's about it. Mmm. This would be so nice to have, because I know Breloom can just get, like, Stun Spore and... Uh, leech seed and all the little spores and powders. Oh no, this is not good at all. I think my best bet is just chucking balls at this. Yeah, oh, it's it's such a nice one to have, but it's such a freaking annoying one to catch. Braylo. Uh and it'd be nice to have a grass type. I mean, right off the right off the bat, you know, we're we're diversifying the team, but. Breloom, he might not want to stay in. He's paralyzing everyone. I literally, my best bet is just to throw balls at this guy. That's probably what I'm going to do. I only have four left. I didn't even stock up on some more. Eepsy daisy. Hey, maybe we get a first ball. Nah, I don't think I'm going to be able to catch this thing. I'll try. I'm, a, I'm used two more. I'm used two more because, you know, we want to keep the one left that will probably, like, end up catching us a legendary, maybe. I don't think you know. Um, yeah, I don't think, I don't think I'm catching this million. I, I don't think. He's about to go to full health. I mean, unless we get extremely lucky. Maybe we gotta sing, like, the special jingle. I don't freaking know. I'll try it, man. He might like milk. We were just talking about Santa Claus. Maybe that's why he appeared. So I'll give you milk and cookies like your Santa Claus. Give him milk and cookies like your Santa oh, That actually would've been so hype. Alright, well, you know, freaking die, man. <laughs> why could you stay at the ball? I'm not, again, just like Jinx, I'm not too mad about it because, like, I'm still happy that we caught the Slow King and everything. It would have been nice, though, because Breloom is kind of a powerful mon. So, oh well, what can you do? But basically, we're coming towards the end of this video. What I'm going to do off camera is just grind up Slow King a bit. Then we'll start the next episode fighting the rival and going through Viridian Forest. So we still have one more encounter until the gym. So we'll get that. Like I said, fight the rival, get the Viridian Forest encounter, go through there, fight all the trainers in the next episode. I doubt it we can make it all the way to Brock, but it would be kind of cool if we can. But I, like I said, doubt it we can. Well, say what's up, Nurse Joy. My girl, Nurse Joy. What's up? You see LeBear coming through. I'm about to beat him up in this series. I'm about to beat him up. Beat him up in this route uh, west of here. Gonna beat him up in where Where else? The SSN, the Pokemon Tower, the Nugget Bridge. Uh, west of here again, late in the game. Like, I'm gonna beat him up everywhere, man. I'm not talking about Pokemon Battles. I'm talking about literally, we're gonna... Take our hat. Oh, wait. He doesn't have a hat. I'm going to take my hat off. I'm just freaking beat him up right there on the spot. You don't even know. He, he, do he doesn't even know what's coming. He doesn't even know what's coming. All right. Let me get some antidotes. I feel like that would be smart because you can't get... Can't you die from poison in this game? Isn't it Gen 4, I think, is where they changed it? Um, I also got some paralyzed heals as well. Might as well take those. And like I said, we're going to go ahead and call it a video here. Look at that. Hop over the ledge. Land in the flowers. Stomp all over the flowers. And yeah, I'm going to stop right there. So I hope you guys enjoyed episode one of the Pokemon Fire Red randomized chain monologue. I'm hoping this goes up on Monday. I'm recording this on Friday before, but like I mentioned earlier, I don't even have my freaking thumbnail done. I haven't even started it. I don't even have the intro done. So we'll see. Uh, I hope it does. Because um, again, you know, all of last week, didn't, we went without a Monday and Friday, or without a Nuzlocke series going up because we finished the Pokemon Sapphire Randomized Unlock, which you, guys, which you guys should go check out if you haven't already. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and hit that bell to see more. And until next time, deuces.